Hi, I'm Victor from 5-Minute Lessons. This is a special episode of our program called Presented by Student for Students. The program that hopes to motivate students to learn, allow them to share what they have learned, and make them inspire others to do the same. For today's episode, we have Nathaniel. He's one of the smartest students I've encountered, humble and always ready to help his fellow students and teachers. Today, he is going to show us how to sync our Chrome account to all our devices. He's also going to demo how to create, manage, search, and edit bookmarks. He's going to tell us how to search and keep information private. He's going to use the Chrome Omnibox for instant searches. He's going to share what Chrome Web Store is and what's the difference between apps and extensions. He's going to show the difference of searching in Google Search and in Omnibox. After that, is going to utilize filters and modifiers in search. Nathaniel has a lot in store for all of us today, so let's start! So first, how can we sync our, all of our information to all of our devices? So what we need to do is to sign in to our Google account. As you can see, I already signed in my account here. So what I need to do is to press the profile on the top right corner of my web browser. So here it is. I just need to press turn on sync. Yes, I'm in. And it's done. Secondly, how can we manage Chrome bookmarks? Add, edit, and even delete. This feature helps us to easily access our frequently visited websites or the websites that we want to save. So to add something on my bookmark, for example, here is Google Classroom because I'll be needing it soon. I just need to press this star, which means bookmark this tab and Chrome will automatically add this to my bookmarks. So now you can see Google Classroom on my bookmarks bar so we need to edit it because just like what I've said earlier that will be the most important website when the class starts to edit it just press this go to bookmarks bookmark manager and we just drag it just like that and now it is the first website that you can see to delete something from your bookmark just Go back to your bookmark manager, do the same thing, and for example, is this. I'm not gonna need this anymore, so I can delete it. Next is using Incognito. Incognito is a private browsing. It doesn't save any of your info, such as your searches, visited pages, and login details. So for example, here, I log into Google, search for different things. And once I close this tab, there will be no such thing as history or saved login information. So for our fourth is about Omnibox. So a lot of you may ask, what is Omnibox? Omnibox is this part of the web browser where the website links are shown. You can also use this to search for on the web ECD. If you need to find a mean, for example, if you need to find the meaning of something, we just need to put define after the word. So example is justice define. And that's it. So that is commonly used for instant searches. For our fifth and sixth one is about Chrome Web Stores. It is Google's online store for its Chrome web browser. So, Mr. Repatakodo will later discuss how to use or install apps and extensions on the Chrome Web Store. But before that, what is the difference between Chrome browser extension and apps? Apps are the web-based programs that we use on a computer while extensions extend what Chrome can do. For example, is this the screen castify. This is the extension that I am using to record this video. Let's now discuss Google search. So searching on Google is pretty easy. You just go to google.com and search the thing that you're interested in. Example here is what is the hardest metal on earth? That's it. And you can also use Google search to calculate, convert values, and many more. And let's go back to Omnibox. 
as I've said earlier, you can use Google search to do different tasks. So that is just the same with Omnibox, but the only difference is you are saving your time by not going to google.com anymore. Example here is Paranyake weather. If I want to use it to cal as a calculator, I can do it. If I want to use it to convert money, I can also do it here. So instead of going to google.com, you can save your time. Utilizing filters and modifiers in search. I've already searched for volcanic eruption. And if you are just looking for images, just press images. And you can also do that with videos, news, maps, shopping, books, flights, and finance. And if you want to filter your search, just press tools. And now you can choose from any time to pass year. And you can also choose custom range for better results. And that's all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Nathaniel. That was a compact tutorial but sufficient enough to fully utilize Google Chrome. Before we end this video tutorial, I would also like to share two tips on using Google Chrome. Here's tip number one. Just like what Nathaniel said earlier, I am going to install and uninstall extensions in Chrome. To do that, I have to go to Chrome Web Store. In the address bar, I just simply entered chrome.google.com slash extensions. I was redirected to this page, and this page is called Chrome Web Store. Now, I just have to simply enter here the name of the extension that I would like to search. So for example, Itmoji. You will see the results on the right side. To add this to the Chrome, just simply click Add to Chrome button. And click Add Extension. Now let's wait for the extension to be added to Chrome. The next thing that you're going to do, follow the on-screen instruction on how to set up your extension. Let's say I already installed that extension. What if I would like to uninstall it now? I just have to go back to the Chrome Web Store page and find the extension. After that, click the extension and on the right side, you will see Remove from Chrome. Simply click it and you will be asked to confirm the removal of the extension from the Chrome. So I'll just simply click Remove button. Now that is how simple we install and uninstall extensions using the Chrome Web Store. Now here's tip number two. Nathaniel mentioned about Google search earlier. What if we would like to be specific with our search? Let's say we would like to look for JPEG images about climate change and we would like for a free to use or share images. To do that, just simply go to google.com. Enter the keywords and the results will appear. Since you would like to look for images, it's necessary to click the images. Now, on the right side, click the settings and look for advanced search. Scroll down and look for file type. Earlier, we said that we would like to look for JPEG files. So for the file type, we'll choose JPEG files. For the usage rights, we need to use free to use, share or modify, even commercially. And then click advanced search. Now these are the files that met our criteria. It's simple, right? I suggest that you explore other options in the advanced search settings page to make your filter more specific. I hope those tips will help you on using Google Chrome. I would like to thank Nathaniel again for joining me in today's episode. For questions or any feedback, kindly write on the comment section below. Please like and share this video so others will know how useful Google Chrome is. Again, this is Victor from 5-Minute Lessons. Thank you for watching!